Hey everyone, it's Kelsey from Mattress Advisor. Today we're going to see how the Nectar mattress holds up to the Mattress Advisor test. Before we jump in, here are a few things you should know about the Nectar. Nectar is a medium to medium firm gel memory foam mattress. A queen size mattress will cost you about $800 and it comes with free shipping, free returns, and a 365 night trial period. That's right, you get a whole year to try out this mattress. Nectar's cover is specially designed to help keep out dust mites. One last thing we should note, contrary to many of its competitors, the Nectar mattress is not made in the US, which may have something to do with why it took a few weeks for it to ship. The Nectar comes compressed and rolled up in a cylinder case. The Queen mattress weighs 74 pounds and is much easier to set up with two people. The mattress took us about five minutes to set up. It does come with a nifty little tool to help you cut through the packaging. The Nectar did have a pretty strong odor when we unwrapped it. It went away within a couple of days, but you will definitely want to give it some time to air out before putting any sheets on. For ease of setup, we give the Nectar a seven. If you share your bed with someone, chances are that no matter how much you love them, you do not want to wake up when they toss and turn in the middle of the night or suddenly break out into aerobics. Well, that's why we've tested how well the Nectar can keep motion transfer at a minimum. First up, our wine test. This is a great way to see how much movement is being transferred from one side of the bed to the other. And it's also a great way to see how well you can balance a glass of wine on the Nectar. I mean, if you were wondering, that is. We had RJ lie down and roll back and forth a few times on the other side to see how much the glass and the wine inside of it moved. That wine is safe and sound. And so is the mattress. Whew. Next, we took a more human approach to measuring motion transfer. We just replaced the wine glass with an actual person to see how much movement they felt. We had both RJ and Asha rate this on a scale from one to 10, with 10 being no movement at all. They gave it a combined 8.5 out of 10. So for a total motion transfer score, Nectar gets an 8.5. Whether or not you notice it, you may end up sleeping at the very edge of your bed or tend to sit on the end of the bed to put your shoes on in the morning. If this rings a bell, then you will want to pay close attention to our edge support test. We ask RJ and Asha to sit on the end of the bed to tie their shoes, and we had them rate the level of support on a scale of one to 10, with 10 being extremely easy with exceptional edge support. They both gave it an eight. Next, we had them lie on the edge of the bed in multiple positions, side, stomach, and back, to see if they felt like they could sleep comfortably on that section of the bed. For this one, they both gave it a perfect 10. That edge is blessed. So for our total edge support, we gave Nectar a nine out of 10. Guys, this is the super exciting, super technical part of this test, and we're using real science to prove it. The way we measure pressure relief is by using a pressure mapping film that shows a diagram of how much pressure is being put on certain parts of the body. The blue spots are good and the red spots are bad. Now the closer you get to warmer, redder colors in the pressure diagram, the more pressure is being put on that part of the body. When RJ and Asha were on the Nectar, we noticed mostly blue, with slight pressure on the shoulders when they were on their sides. So for pressure relief, Nectar gets an eight. When it comes to body support, a straight spine is the name of the game. We had RJ and Asha lie down on their sides, and once they were settled in, we took a close-up of their backs to see the alignment. Ideally, we want to see a straight line from the spine all the way up through the neck. There's a slight dip for both of them, so we give the Nectar a 7.5 out of 10 for spine alignment. Responsiveness is all about seeing how well a mattress adjusts or responds to different positions or movements while you sleep. Instead of placing bowling balls on top of the mattress to see what happens, we put real humans on the mattress to see how they felt. We had RJ and Asha lie down on the Nectar in each sleeping position, back, stomach, and side. And as they changed positions and got settled in, we asked them how the mattress adjusted or responded to their movement. And they rated the experience on a scale of one to 10, with 10 being it adjusted perfectly and instantly to the new position. They gave it a combined 8.5 out of 10 for responsiveness. All right, you guys, crank up that volume because it is time to calculate our Mattress Advisor score. Our score is a weighted average out of 10 that incorporates functional and performance characteristics of the mattress, as well as a social responsibility score, which is a measure of social mission, community involvement, and charitable partnerships. Can I get a drum roll, please? And some math while you're at it. 
the Mattress Advisor score for the Nectar is a 7.9. Thanks for tuning in to our Nectar Mattress Review. If you want to take a deeper look at any of these scores, just hop on over to the Nectar Review at mattressadvisor.com. Now, if you'll excuse me, it is time for some sweet, sweet dreams on the Nectar.